Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a try on haul and basically what that is is I've gotten some new makeup recently. I'm going to try it on because I don't know about you guys, but when I get new makeup, I have to touch it. I just have to touch it, I have to put my hands in it, I have to put it on my face. So it's going to be kind of like a get ready with me, but with almost all new stuff. To the makeup. So exciting. The first product that I'm going to use is the e.l.f. Lip lip exfoliator. It just looks like a regular lipstick which is really convenient. I like a really gross lipstick but it smells it smells mm, like sugar and plastic. I actually had one of these previously but I lost it. So I'll just go and just kind of scrub it against your lips to get any of the dead skin off. Normally uh, I probably wouldn't exfoliate my lips just to leave the house. But since this is something that I got recently, I'm going to use it. It will just feel a lot better. Probably could have done it for longer. For even better results, but that's good enough. That actually leaves your lips fairly um, moist until you kind of rub it off. So I'm going to use the new lip balm that I have. I got it from my Ipsy bag. It is the Be A Bombshell Lip Balm in French Kiss. It looks like this. Um, so yeah, I think it's tinted. But I don't really know, but it's hopefully going to be moisturizing enough to heal my lips. It is actually a little bit tinted. Not much. Um, it's very sheer. But I'm okay with that. I'm just going to let that sit till the very end so that my lips are nice and soft at the end. I'm going to try this new primer that I got. It is the IT number 50 serum collagen veil anti-aging primer it's supposed to be fairly hydrating oh yeah it feels very moisturizing kind of feels like a night cream um it's very smooth it's i don't know it's not quite silicone -y like other primers but it's definitely smoothing like maybe it's still plasticky, but not quite silicone-y. It's like a different kind of plastic. <laughs> that sounds so weird. But it smells... It's citrusy. I've never heard anyone talk about the smell being citrusy, but it smells citrusy. Which is... It's a good thing that I waited a day to do this, because I wouldn't have been able to smell that yesterday. And also, I'm going to take a little bit extra. Um, just like that much and I'm gonna put a little bit extra right here on my nose because I had really bad um, runny nose and my nose is super super dry um, and gross but that helped a lot I, I wouldn't say my skin feels I mean I guess maybe it feels a little bit smoother but I can still smell the citrus on my hand. I actually like the smell of citrus. I, it's like very refreshing to me, so it doesn't bother me. But if you don't like citrus, then that might not sit well with you. I actually haven't bought a foundation recently, so I don't have something new to try on for that. So I'm actually going to use my Makeup Forever HD um, foundation in the shade N120. I'm going to use that. Um, I think I squirted out way too much. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's way too much, and it's also, I think, way too light. Just gonna dot that over my face. Let's see, I'll go ahead and add a little bit of this L'Oreal True Match in Honey Beige to my face. It's gonna look really crazy at first. Hopefully, I'll blend it out fairly well. I would say, I don't know about this primer, it actually is kind of sticky in some areas. Um, it could be, like I said, because... <sighs> I, my my face is kind of dry. Um, it kind of seemed to stick right here in the middle of my face where I am naturally drier. Um, this is where I have dry patches normally. And actually I have some dry patches there, but it didn't spread. Like normally I can get it to spread over to this part of the sides of my face, but it kind of just stuck right there in the middle. So maybe I should have put some extra primer there across my face so that I didn't have that issue. I got the foundation on. Actually now looking at it, I don't know if you can see, it did a, a pretty good job of filling in my pores because I, if I remember correctly, the HD foundation synced into my pores a lot. Like I feel like the it's not as sunken in my pores. It maybe still looks like it on camera. So, got foundation on. 
Now I'm going to do concealer. I actually have two concealers that I recently bought. So I originally bought the Maybelline Master Conceal from Ulta and I thought I was picking up the light shade but I ended up getting the shade 10 fair it's way too light and I'm not one that really likes the highlighting concealer effect under my eyes I know that a lot of people like that I feel like it doesn't cover my under eye circles it just kind of like the darkness under my eyes it just like kind of makes it look more apparent so then when I was at um, Walgreens I saw the Rimmel match perfection concealer and I decided to pick it up because I wanted a concealer. I heard a lot of people like this so I picked it up and I have the shade 240 Fair Light Neutral. See my bushy bushy eyebrows. Obviously I've been sick and I just haven't given any shits about fixing my eyebrows for a while now even before I got sick. Okay but I'm just going to put this in here. Okay I don't know how much I need to use this so yeah so we're gonna try that there and I'm just gonna use my fingers. Oh, oh god, I definitely didn't need as much as I got. Okay, well, I like to take, I do like to do the sort of um, triangle effect. I mean, that concealer, I feel like it covered my under eyes pretty well. Maybe have a little bit of extra darkness out here. Um, probably my fault. So yeah, I think the concealer worked pretty well. Um, I'm not gonna conceal the like little blemishes I have because I don't want to have to keep up with any makeup while I'm out. I'm just gonna powder the sides of my nose, and I know it seems really weird because like I just said, my nose is dry, but I will still um, get really oily on my nose, so I have to powder it. I'm just avoiding the bottom areas right here my nostrils that are really dry and flaky. I'm also going to powder my chin because I get kind of oily on my chin. Powder my lips. But yeah, so the powder I use is this um, MAC Studio Fix powder. I got it from the Cosmetic Company store, which is like an outlet for um, Estee Lauder brand companies, which includes MAC, uh, and it is NW18. I got it recently, and yeah, I've never had a MAC powder before, and so I got it at a discounted price and it feels really soft and it matches my skin really well. Um, I actually have used this before, but only like twice. I'm gonna kind of run this over my cheeks, just, just whatever is left on the brush, over my cheeks just a little bit, just so that um, any blush and bronzer I put on um, doesn't catch. Next thing that I have from my Ipsy bag, I was so excited about getting this. I got a sample of Tarte's Park Avenue Princess in my Ipsy bag. So the Ipsy bag is $10 and I got this sample of this bronzer. I got so excited that I get to try this for $10 when normally this bronzer is like super expensive. Well, it looks shimmery, but then if I swatch it and I put it on my hand, it's not really shimmery so much as like maybe satin-y. And since, I don't know, I wouldn't normally use this to contour. <sighs> But I'm going to today because, yeah, um, oh yeah, no, this is way too warm. Way too warm to contour. Let's just bring that up into the blush area. So the brush that I used to powder was a Real Techniques multitask face brush. And then I was just about to contour with this Real Techniques contour brush. But since that is most definitely way too warm to contour with, we're just going to turn it into a blush. Uh, or to a bronzer, which is what it is. So I'm also going to take this um, with a contour brush. I'm going to take it, I got a little bit on this, tap it off, and I'm just going to just put it over my whole eye like this. Just like this. It kind of looks like I maybe did eyeshadow, but I didn't actually. It's like a little mini eye look with, like, that was super simple. So I'm just going to do it again. My face powder on my finger, and I'm just going to put it right there on my lid. Actually, put underneath my eyebrows too. I might need to conceal right here a little bit more. I was gonna use this. I moved my makeup around and I found it. It's from an old Ipsy bag. City Color B Matte Blush in the color Fresh Melon. It's like a really old Ipsy bag. I swatched it with my finger and I never used it. I'm thinking maybe I'm really bronzed right now. So I don't know, but I'm gonna use it anyway. Oh. Wow, that was really pigmented. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna wipe that off on my hand because I don't want to have...
crazy red cheek. I kind of like that Park Avenue princess as a bronzer. So, my face is basically done. I did get this highlighter also in my Ipsy bag. It is the Ofra eyeshadow and highlighter in Bliss. It's really messy. I don't know if you can see, but it kind of like got everywhere in transit. I'm worried about opening it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, that's really pretty. I'm gonna actually put this on my lids. I'm just gonna take it on my finger and put this on my, oh my Jesus. I wouldn't normally do this because I didn't do any primer on my eyelids because I wasn't gonna put any eyeshadow on. But I just, I just wanted to see that right here in my inner corner. I never set my concealer. I need to do that. Oh, it's not. Oh my goodness. I might zoom you guys in for this. I have these lines under my eyes and um, they always get concealer right there. And I know like you can see right now it has concealer in there because I, I forgot to set it. But like this is like almost no concealer. I usually get so much more than that right there. So I'm really impressed with that Rimmel Match Perfection. I don't know if it's because I really didn't use very much of it um, or what. I'm just gonna wipe off that contour brush and I'm gonna use it to set my under eye concealer. I'm gonna go through with my pinky and kind of rub away the concealer in the crease. There. And then I'm gonna set it. Again with this um, MAC Studio Fix Powder. I am the worst at doing mascara. So it's going to take me forever. I might turn off the camera to do it because, yeah. But basically, I curl my lashes. I don't have any new mascara. This one is like semi- no, it's not that semi-new. I was going to say it's semi-new, but it's all worn off. So those are my eyelashes all done. My eyes all done. I'll get a little bit of redness that peeks through. So what I might do is like take my face powder and I'll just dip my foundation brush in there. And I'll just put it right here at the bottom and I'll blend it down like my redness I get it right here at the bottom of my cheeks and then it just stops and it it adds to that whole foundation line thing and it's very frustrating yeah so that's basically my face done that's most of the products I want to show you there are a few more products that I want to show you they're for my lips though so I got a whole bunch of lip products because I couldn't help myself if you like the idea of a try on haul go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and I'll try to do more of them when I get more makeup and everything. I'm going to start putting up more videos so go ahead and subscribe if you're interested in seeing them and I will see you next time. Bye!